Okay, so as you can see, I have already um, uploaded my pop socket uh, picture into this program and I made sure that it is the correct size. So now I am just going to go ahead and import my summer case file. And I just want to make sure that this is correct as well. So in my uh, case for my Samsung S9, it is about two and a half inches wide by five and three quarters long. And I'm making sure to make it extra long so that that way you have a bleed edge so that you won't have any white spaces. When you're done with that, I'm just going to take and size this or put this as, whoops. Put this as close to the same line as you can. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start setting up the ICC profile. So I need to go to document, convert format, ICC profile. Then I wanna go down to the sublimation one and click convert. And this will convert everything in this document to uh, to the colors that sublimation will actually be um, so that you can get a better idea of what it will look like. When it's done, you want to go ahead and print. So um, file, of course, and print however you are uh, printing in the particular program that you're using. Um, of course, I have my sublimation printer set up. And I just want to triple check my settings. I always use premium presentation paper mat with high quality. Turn off the high speed and you want to, of course, mirror the image. So everything looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK and I'll see you at the printer. things you'll need now is your case, your heat resistant tape, some scissors, and the print that you just cut. And if you're doing a pop socket um, at the same time, then you'll also need that as well. So the thing to remember about these cases is before you tape it down to your print, there is always a little plastic, a clear plastic on top. So you always want to make sure that you remove that. And that goes for both phone cases and pop sockets. So the way that I have found it easiest is I will take the blank and I will put it like exactly how I want it. Something like that. And then for, for these smaller ones, I find it easier to just take a big piece of your heat transfer tape, or I'm sorry, your heat resistant tape, and it's easier to just go across the whole thing like that. Okay. And now I'm going to do basically the same thing with the actual foam case. Once you line it up how you want it, uh, for this one I use uh, two pieces, one on each side. So 
one. This will help keep it from moving once it's in the press. Okay, now it's time to move over to the press. So I always start with butcher paper on the bottom. And then I take and put two uh, regular sheets of copy paper. Then when we put this on, we're going to put it face down like this so you can see the wording for the back of the paper. I'm going to add two more sheets of paper on top and then another piece of butcher paper. We're going to press it down and let it go for 45 seconds. over to the side. Okay. So we move the first sheet. Okay. So then because we have this tape left over, over or I should say over the edge, I'm going to go ahead and pull it off from that. And seriously, look how amazing that is. the back of the phone case. So I'm going to let this cool and I'll meet you back. So I'm going to do the phone case first. So it has this backing. You want to go ahead and take that off and it will show the sticky. Okay. And then you just want to slide this in here. Whatever you do, make sure you get it right on the first try. Because you don't want to know how I found out you can't really. So it's better to start at the top um, than start at the bottom because you'll have around your camera and everything. But anyway, so yeah, that is that. And then for the pop socket, same thing. Just take the backing off. The pop socket is a lot easier because there's a deep rim and it's circle so it can only go one way. So there we go.